So friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the WRF modeling system for the idealized cases. So in previous video, we have looked at uh, installation procedure for the uh, real data cases. So most of these steps are same up to the download. So I hope that you have already downloaded the model. If you have not download, downloaded, please go to user uh, WRF user page and uh, uh, locate the uh, download. So go to this and you will be able to uh, locate the WRF and WPS source code. Uh, you can, there are two methods to, you can directly go to the LC file or you can directly download for the, for, uh, using the git clone command. So you just copy this command and paste on terminal. So once you paste it, uh, once you paste it on your terminal, it will be, uh, it will clear, it will show you how to uh, download it. So, yeah, so, so just paste here and uh, it would start. So it is showing it it's already exists. So we do not need to down, download because I have already downloaded it previously. Now what you have to do? Uh, just go to uh, the WRF. Let me see. Yeah. So just go to WRF, and here what we have to do, we have to simply configure. And so it will show you various options. Uh, and so the whatever environment we have set for the real case similar environment you have to save so you have to install all the files which we have discussed in the installation procedure of w main wrf so you do not need to repeat those steps you just have to download make a one new make a new folder download the wrf in that new folder you do not need wps because it is ideal case so again you have we have already installed the gfortron here so just use uh, option 34 here you can again use uh, uh, this is your configuring so you can use basic so the configuration has been uh, uh, I will uh, uh, can be done uh, okay so now what we have to do we have to compile uh, this with various so it is showing that we have to just select one option. Okay, so you we are trying to check for the so you have several cases, so you can choose any of these. So I'm just using EM Tropical Cyclone to for the illustration purpose. So okay, let me clear it first. Then we have to use compile. Uh, Compile tropical cyclones. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's wait for its comp compilation and we will come back once it is done. executable successfully builds let's see uh, if they are built go to run directory and uh, check rs uh, okay so you will see wrf.exe and the ideal.exe so this is the main thing and you have input sounding and then this is for the tropical cyclones it we are all ready to set to run the uh, default model so you do not need to do anything you just need to do ideal.exe and the uh, you will uh, get the uh, the output that is the input and then you can run the wrf.exe so it is as simple as that uh, to run the wrf model here in that setting uh, it doesn't require much effort as such it can be run uh, easily without any uh, without any trouble so yes 
so you can get the model output it is already running so you have the test case output here so wrf ideal case is uh, has been discussed today and the uh, the other other uh, let me check if it's running also running well here it is wrf okay so it is still running it may take some time because perhaps the model so yeah so you can check the name list dot input here what they are doing here so you can just choose uh, east west direction this is 201 and 15 kilometer resolution and time step is 60 so for this run day six days they are running for six days and uh, so yeah it may take some time so we are not interested in really now running so uh, yeah so let's see okay so it's around 60 mb so it's, it's not a big deal we can analyze that data in the later uh, lecture thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye, -bye.